Good morning. In today's meditation, we're dealing with the important and rich phrase of nobility, the nobility inside, and that it's inside all of us and it's inside men. And as I point out in my story yesterday, um, this Native American minister uh, serving in prisons says it's very hard for men to look inside. And I, it's not an exaggeration to say that uh, we have to rediscover what healthy masculinity is, what healthy manhood is. And clearly we do have to look inside, but when we can as this uh, minister chaplain uh, pointed out, um, men can al come alive again. And, uh, and then we cited from many sources, Thomas Berry, Hildegard Bingen, and Meister Eckhart, who also pronounce on this important theme of our nobility. We can even ask, when did men lose their nobility, their sense of nobility being inside? And I do think a lot of it had to do with the modern era, with the crushing of the archetype of Father Sky, when we were told by wrong science at the time, the universe was a machine. The sky was inert. This crushes the human spirit, and especially the man's spirit, because Father Sky, all the time uh, of humanity on this planet that we know of, has been honored. And for Father Sky to suddenly overnight be rendered inert, truly kills the spirit in men. And of course, it was very effective because it got men in line to um, serve in the army and without questions, and also to serve in mines and on factory assembly lines and so forth, very often doing degradation to their souls in the process. So going back to the this theme of the nobility of all of us, I want to call this morning on the wisdom of Meister Eckhart. This brilliant treatise, which is reproduced in my book, where I reproduce about 37, 38 of his sermons. Uh, but this is actually a, a treatise that I call Everyone an Aristocrat, Everyone a Royal Person. And this is how he begins this treatise. He says, He's quoting from Luke 19.12. Our Lord says in the gospel, quote, a man of royal birth went to a distant country to be appointed king, and afterward he returned, unquote. Now that's the translation that Eckhart had in his day, the 14th century. Then Eckhart says, our Lord teaches us in these words how royal people have been created in their nature how divine is a state to which they can rise through grace, and in addition, how people are to reach that point. In addition, a large part of the Holy Scripture touches upon these words. Well, he's really naming something here, because the theme of the royal person is a deep, deep part of Jewish literature, Jewish, the Jewish Bible. And the royal person, the uh, first royal person, named in the Jewish Bible is the creator. And the royal person has responsibility for justice, for keeping creation together, for order, the order that justice brings, not the disorder and chaos that injustice brings. And then when the kings arose in Israel, um, the same royal personhood was applied to uh, human beings the kings of Israel, but their responsibility was for the whole of creation and the whole of the community, and that justice was key to it. And even the prophets were there to critique the king as to whether or not, critique the leaders as to whether or not they, their work uh, was fulfilling the role of justice and keeping creation and community together. So, and even the, the Messiah was spoken of in terms of a royal personhood, but someone who would come and, um, and heal and keep things together by way of justice. So this theme that Eckhart elaborates in depth 
again, this is not just a sermon by Eckhart's entire treatise on the royal personhood, is deeply embedded in the Jewish and biblical tradition, both the Hebrew Bible and the Christian Bible as well. And, but once again, it begins with the nobility. With nobility goes responsibility. And that is the message uh, that comes through uh, with Eckhart, with Thomas Berry, with Hildegard of Bingen, uh, with all, all the great mystics who recognize the relationship between mysticism and prophecy, between uh, love of creation and the community and the need to stand up um, and uh, protest uh, when injustice reigns. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.